All right, today we're going to be looking at Crest John. This is the beta version. <coughs> Crest John is an HTML5 application that runs on various devices. Let's go over here where we have a slew of various devices. These guys are the devices I'm going to be mainly using. So we have a Windows XP netbook, we have a Windows 7 laptop, and we have an older tablet PC. This is a Note. We have a Nexus 7. We have an oops. We have an older Android device, and then we have one of the newer Android devices. So we got you know everything: the old tablet, the new tablet, to the old device, to the uh, or to the old uh, phone, to the new phone, and then the old uh, netbook or the older operating systems, the XP operating systems, to the uh, newer operating systems. So we got 32-bit and 64-bit. All right. So hopefully everything's charged up. Okay. So I'm probably going to do most of my demo on my uh, my Samsung uh, Note 2, um, these other devices. Maybe I'll pull up one of these other devices here and do you know a quick demo of how it works. But since basically here's the deal. Since this is an HTML5 app, it's going to work on various platforms, assuming they have HTML5 compatibility. And the uh, Windows XP, you know, Chrome does, probably Firefox, not so much uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, same thing on the Windows 7, uh, the Internet Explorer that comes with the Windows 7, I do not believe has uh, good support for, eight, uh, for HTML5. Windows 8 probably, um, but of course, you know, I always end up downloading Chrome or something else, so you're fine. And then uh, with this older, this older tablet PC, I downloaded uh, Dolphin. That was just the first browser I picked up, and it, it worked just fine, so. And of course, it works on the uh, the newer, the newer... Uh, Android devices because they have Chrome installed on them or you can install Chrome on them and then the older device I think this has uh, Android 4.0 on it and it uh, I'm running Chrome on it also okay so the setup we have over here is I'm in the process of installing uh, this unit right here it's an older unit and like I said I'm absolutely in the process of installing that's absolutely embarrassing but uh, for the demo, you know, if everybody wants to see a video, so I don't blame them. It's pretty cool stuff. So here's my Creston unit. Right beside it, I have an Xbox Media Center. All this stuff is going to be, it's going to live in the kitchen probably for a few months while I get everything set up. And then we'll stick it in the, the rack in the server room upstairs. But I'm going to keep it down here a while till I get familiar with the system first. <coughs> and I'm going to love rerunning all those wires. But the good thing is, since the server room's uh, directly above this area, that uh, <laughs> it won't be much of a much of a run to to switch out those wires. All right, so let's get back to Crest John. All right, so let's look at the the main screen. Well, one of the good things about Crest John is it's actually, as of right now, in the beta version, it's just one file that you can upload it to your your Creston unit mines. As you see, if you look at the IP address, that's actually my Creston uh, Crest, <laughs> uh, uh, control system. You can upload it to your Windows server. You could actually host it, you know, on a shared server or a, a shared Windows share folder. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's it's very configurable. If you open it up, you just modify the um, you modify the the IP address. And right now, you have to modify. You know, you have to configure all the rooms and all the uh, <coughs> all the details that goes with the room, the sources, all that good stuff. But eventually, I'm probably gonna have that on the server. But right now, this works just fine. So the point of what I have right now is just to get something out there so I can control the system, you know, out in the yard because I have a big yard and I don't want to have to come running back inside to control the system. Since I don't have a newer system, I'm not able to use the $100 Android uh, app. So uh, that'd be a tough one anyway because we have lots of Android devices and I could easily chew up quite a lot of money. I'm actually a developer. Um, so I do a lot of Android development and uh, mobile technology. So I could run up a bill real quick just buying that app. Um, I probably need to concentrate on purchasing uh, hardware and extending my uh, home automation system versus uh, blowing it on software. So that's where this software comes into play. Okay, so uh, as you know, this is HTML5 app. What it does, it, communi <coughs> it communicates with a server 
that sits upstairs in my uh, on my Windows server. And it's, it's just an API controller. There's nothing cool about it. It actually took the least amount of time to write. And that, um, that API controller, it just uses the ActiveX um, DLL that's in uh, one of those files on the, the user group. So just grab that guy and you're good to go. So this is very simple. And when you run, the good thing is when you actually... Uh, run the server. You don't have to install anything. It says it's a self-hosting. You just click on the executable, run as administrator, and boom, it's going. Right now, it's running as a console app. Eventually, you know, if I need to turn it into service, it's really uh, no work at all to switch it over to be a console or service, depending on who's executing it. Where the Windows itself is executing, it'll run as a service, or a a uh, person is using it, then it'll run as a uh, console application. Um, we'll see, you know, as time allows, but the the main point is to get it up and running so, uh, you know, I can control my system. All right, so looking at this guy, we have all, which is kind of like a party mode. I'm going to expand it out to, um, you see the power button at the front. Right now, the power button's only turning it off. It's not turning it on. To turn it on, you just click on what you want to run. Let's kind of look at this guy. Let's step through all the, the options. So we have all. We have, which allows you to mute everything, uh, play Xbox Media Center, play the Android uh, device, play a Zune, play a, uh, a Shuffler. And what a Shuffler is, that's just a, um, that's a Zune. I have two of those guys over there. And I have the Shuffler running all the time on a specific CD that I really enjoy. So I switch that CD out every now and then. It might be Rumors or it might be one of the Counting Crow CDs that I just kind of put on, re on repeat. So uh, anyway, basically you have your mute and your sources and all these are just uh, digital um, you know you can send digital send analog and send serial these are just digital these guys right here are just digital calls and if you look at the way it is in the configuration you could actually do stuff other than that you can name it what you want to and say hey you know this is something else you, I guess you could probably even do a light switch um, I haven't done the light switch automation stuff but you probably could do that the uh, the, the, the key here is that if it's a source, when you look in the configuration, make sure you have the source equals true if it's an, an audio source. If it's not an audio source, then you can set the uh, source to equal false. All right, so I'm in the kitchen right now. I think the baby's sleeping, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna try to, let me close that out. I'm not gonna turn on the entire house. That would not be good. I'm gonna close out that. All right. And then we'll open up the kitchen, and I want to listen to, uh, let's listen to the, no, let's listen to the shuffler. All right, now you see down there I have a volume control, so I'm going to adjust the volume a little bit. Uh-oh, not too much. All right. And in the uh, Xbox Media Center, what I've been doing is uh, I've been mostly using it for Android, even though it has access to all my MP3s. I have all those MP3s on the Zoom, so I'm just kind of using it mostly for the Android, or uh, sorry, mostly for the uh, Pandora. So let's go turn this on to Xbox Media Center, which I'm probably going to rename to Pandora since that's where it lives mostly. All right, and I think, yeah, which flipped over here. Let's see here if we can. We can get this going where you can see both both these guys. All right, let's hit the mute button. Uh oh. All right, and you see the mute button hit over there. Okay. And I have various other sources too. So you see on there the library. We'll, we'll walk in the library too. Uh, we'll, let's walk in the library with a different device. All right. How about how about the uh, the XP device? This is an older device. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Just work on top of my desk. I'm not gonna crank the volume up very much. Let's mouse over to library. Expand it out. Let's set it to let's set the shuffler. 
And there goes County Crows. We can turn it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that very well. And obviously the volume is using Send Analog. Alright, I'm going to turn that guy off. Okay. Now, one of the bad things about the um, <coughs> about the HTML5 app as it stands right now, it's not that pretty. It looks pretty good on the phone, but it, it you know it doesn't look it doesn't look that great on it, like that XP device. It kind of looks spread out, but that's one of the consequences if you want to run at least right now. I'm not spending a lot of time on if you run on all the devices. You have to have something that can work on the small devices and to the super small devices. You know. See this guy, it looks pretty good for being such a small device. Expand it out, let's put, let's put Counting Crows back on, good deal. Alright, so I think that's going to conclude the demo. And if you have any questions, you know, you can uh, contact me through the user group or shoot me an email. Alright, thank you very much for your time. Oh yeah, oh, you know, I didn't say that, but I've put this guy on GitHub. I think I've actually posted the link. It's github.com slash center dc2 slash crest john. That's C R E S T J S O N. All right. Thank you very much.